Hey guys, Cindy Williams here, the Wanderlust CEO. I have my good friend Jen here from the Soloist Traveler. Jen, how are you this morning? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. Well, I'm so glad that you're going to be sharing your story with us. And I hear <laughs> that congratulations are in order because you are a graduate of Cruise on Vacation. Yay! So exciting. Yes. How does it feel? It feels fantastic. Um, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I'm ready to move onwards and upwards. I love it. So tell everybody, I love sharing these kind of origin stories of travel businesses. Tell everybody where you were before taking careers on vacation and where you are now. So I am entirely new to the travel industry. Um, and I guess before careers on vacation, even a year prior to that, I was in investment banking in, you know, on Wall Street in New York for over a decade and just burning the midnight oil and mm -hmm. started feeling like this is no longer aligned with where I want my future career to go. And I took some time off, did some soul searching, and I just kept coming back to wanting to start a travel business. And for me specifically, solo travel, which is something I'm really passionate about. And so prior to careers on vacation, I took some of the initial steps. I started an, an Instagram, a website, um, formed an LLC, but then I got stuck because I felt like I didn't truly know how to professionally book travel for somebody else. Mm -hmm. And I knew that that was a can of worms that I had to open. Yeah. <laughs> and that yeah. is how I found you and careers on vacation. I love that. And I love your niche too. Like, I think there's so much buzz around solo travel and women getting more comfortable going to exotic destinations and that whole piece. So I love that you're bringing that to market. That's, that's super awesome. What do you feel like has been your biggest win or celebration since taking the program? I mean, no doubt my biggest win is my first client and now having clients. That's so um, exciting, right? Yeah. Oh, it was huge because it took this pipe dream that was in my head into tangible revenue. Um, and that happened during the Careers on Vacation course. So that's definitely the biggest win. Wait, we got to get more confetti over here. That's on a different screen. It's on my, as you know, when we have the training calls, I'm always doing the congratulations as we celebrate. <laughs> I love that though. And it's because it does, it feels like a dream until you have that first client. Then you're like, wow, this is like a tangible thing that I can kind of get my hands around. And I think that's powerful. We always call it a learning while earning program. I love that you had a few things set up, which means you could kind of hit the ground going a little bit faster, but that's always a really good thing because the, the clients are there. It's just connecting you guys with like how to reach them through the, all the mediums that are available to us, which is really cool. So, so cool. You already have your first clients. I know how exciting that is. Now, yeah. you know that we do a lot of mindset as kind of a pillar in our company and, um, really integrating that through our program to help people wake up to their own potential is how I like to think about it. How did the mindset work impact you in either your life or business? That was a huge piece for me. Um, and I think that is kind of what got me that first client because I dealt with a lot of imposter syndrome and candidly still face some of that today. Yeah. Um, one, because I didn't have a background in the travel industry and I was jumping into it. And then two, because I was used to a corporate setting with a pretty steady paycheck and all of a sudden that was being stripped away. So the mindset piece was huge for me. And I think it's fantastic that I can continue to go back and refer back to Brandon's videos when I need them, because I know that like, as I continue to up level this business, there will be new challenges to that mindset piece that I'll need to reinforce. Yeah. Mindset work is not something you do once mm -hmm. you're done, right? It's a continual thing. And I, I always say, even at my level, right, having done mindset work for decades at this point, there's still stuff that creeps up like 2020 brought all of the crazy stuff up, right? When you're, whenever you're doing That's something cool. new, which anyone that takes our program, you and you know, our body of students, but it's, it feel like growth is uncomfortable. Like you, I, I heard a great quote a few weeks ago when I was at a conference, they said, you can sit in the discomfort of not loving your life and in your life, not being what you want it to be, or you can sit in the discomfort of growth. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's so true. But what helps that discomfort of growth, I think is 
that mindset piece and just like rooting yourself in like imposter syndrome, like you said, like that was your kind of limiting belief. Like it's a story you're telling yourself, but why can't you be the biggest company in the world for solo travel, right? Like, why can't you bring it to market? Why can't you do all right. things? So I love that. That's amazing, Jen. Talk me, talk to me about, um, I mean, you came from investment banking, right? High profile career, doing all the things. You have this revelation, you want to make a life change, which by the way, I feel like also there's an awakening happening in the world because of the pandemic of people going, I want to do what I want to do with my life. And maybe I want to have that freedom and do all the things. So kudos to you for leaning in, but take us back to, I always like to ask people because a lot of people watching these videos are like, they're thinking about working with us or they're thinking about getting into the industry. And I think it's powerful to share what that process was like for you when, from where you found us, did you, anything you had to overcome, what was it like for you personally to make that decision to start the journey? For me, I think the biggest hurdle to sign up for the course was just the cost of the investment. Yeah. Um, and again, that relates back to the mindset piece though. Like, am I truly worth this investment? Am I really committed to, for me, you know, changing my life, changing my career, going in a completely different path? So um, stomaching that was a big deal for me at first. And then once I did that, everything just kind of, fell into place. So that was the biggest hurdle for me. Um, but I, you know, watched many of your YouTube videos and saw all the value that you bring. And I said, okay, this is someone who I can learn from and I want to learn from. And I just went with it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I think uh, what I love what you said about that is you said, once I made the decision, then everything worked out. Cause it's, it's the difficult of like, am I going to, and you know, especially I feel like as women, you know, it's like, it's, it's not like buying a pair of shoes or buying, you know, something fancy that ends up in the closet. It's like, if I do this, I have to make it work. Right. Like I have to do, you know, and I think that's the real, it's not a question of if the program works, it's, are you ready? Are you ready to change? Are you ready right. to evolve? Are you ready for the next thing? And um, I love that you said yes. So that's amazing because it is, it's a big, it's a big decision to make. So tell me, um, what would you tell to that person who's, you know, kind of was in your same shoes? Maybe they're in a career they don't love. Maybe they've wanted to do this forever. Maybe they've been following the YouTube channel for two years. I don't know. We get, we get people to sign up the first video they watch and we get people that follow us for four years and then they finally sign up. It just, it's fine either way. But what would you tell that person who's sitting on the fence now that you've been through the program, you know, what's on the inside, you know, the heart that we have to kind of train. What would you tell that person um, that's thinking in that thinking about a phase and they're just not sure? I think if you are looking to make a big change in this way, taking that first step will open up a lot of doors and you'll never regret it. Like, let's say you go down this path and you decide, okay, I thought travel company wasn't, was for me. Turns out it's not. I've learned everything I need to know through Cindy Williams program and it's just not for me. You'll still be closer towards your end goal, whatever that is, and you'll be further along on your path. And so I would say just go for it. Like you won't regret it. I definitely don't regret my career change. It was kind of the start of everything. It felt like everything was falling apart. And now I'm realizing it had to, to kind of fall together in this mm. new way. So I say just go for it. And this program will provide not only the technical skills that you need, but also the support and the accountability from a personal coach that you need to really get it off the ground. I love it. My favorite thing that you said was in, I'm paraphrasing, you basically said it had to fall apart so it could fall into place. Yeah. Right? And I, I always tell people like, if you tell the universe, you're going to do a big thing. Don't be surprised if stuff has to get shaken up because it's shifting to give you what you want. So sometimes stuff does have to break down so you can build it up. So I love that. And with that, I'm going to say to everyone, if you are where Jen was just 12 weeks ago and you're in that thinking about it phase, or maybe you've been following the channel like she was for a little bit, just reach out and do a discovery call with our team. It really, you'll meet with one of our success coaches. You can go to cruiseonvacation.com slash ready now. The the goal of that call is really just to understand your goals. And if it is a match to work with us in the careers on vacation mastermind, we will talk to you about how to apply or how to get on the wait list. We are, have a little wait list right now because we're, as Jen can attest to, she just came out of class. Classes are full. We're a little busy, but 
uh, get on that wait list or talk to us so we can at least understand your goals and we'll give you help you get some clarity whether you work with us or not. We That's really our goal in the industry is to support and encourage and inspire and all the things. But Jen, thank you so much for sharing your amazing story today. And you're not going far. You're going over to our grad community. So, you know, you have a cheerleader for life and now you're part of the cool kids group. So you have a beautiful new family in Curse on Vacation. We're so happy that you made the decision to join us. Thank you. You're so welcome. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey guys, Cindy Williams here. If you like that last video, make sure you check out all of the other content on our channel. And if you want to follow along and travel with me around the world and see how I run my amazing travel brands and get some great tips on how to grow your own, make sure you check out that other content. I'm going to drop a couple videos here. Click those links. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. She's calling me.